Okay, day 96 solution then. Let's find Hacker News and start scraping it. First thing, let's get the URL of Hacker News. Now I've got it open over here. So I'm gonna go and grab the address and put it up here for us. Now, if you've read Hacker News, I personally find it very hard to pass just small bits of text like this. I don't find it very useful at all. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see what's going on there. Now, one of the things that I'll want to do is filter those 30 top news stories from that page into things that I care about. Now, I've suggested Python and Replit, but we're going to add a list of things that we want to show. First thing to do, though, is let's pass that page. Let's import requests. And also from BS4, import Beautiful Soup. I'm going to run that just to install the Beautiful Soup library which takes a couple of seconds, but once it's installed, it'll run first time, every time. Nice and quick. Uh, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go and get that address using requests. I'm then gonna pass it out and just print that into the console to know it worked. Looks good to me. Now that's a significantly smaller page than the last one we looked at, which is good for us fetching that data all the time. I'm going to pass it. So soup, beautiful soup, HTML, and the parser we're going to use is html.parser. That'll just let it understand what the HTML is. And then let's go and find what we need to look for on that page. So let's right click and inspect a heading. Okay, I'm going to copy the element, and stick it over here so I can try and find what the consistency is. Let's see if I can grab another one as well. Okay, interestingly, we don't seem to have a lot going on here. Um, there's just an href, there's not a class. So let's go back and have a look at the code and see if there's something that we can find. Well, we do have a span class above it, which has got a class called title line. So that does as well. Maybe we'll get that instead. So let's copy that and I'm just going to pop that in a comment for something that we want. There we go. So you see, I get everything in there. I get the A, href, I get all the text from within that span because as we've learned when looking at web pages, it includes all that stuff. So that's what I'm looking for. So let's pass this out. My links equals soup.findall. And I want to find all span tags with the class. And that class was title line. Let's just start by doing print len my links to see how many of those we actually got back. 30. Now that sounds right because Hacker News has 30 top stories. Okay. Let's see if we can just print out the core bits of information from that. So I'm going to turn that off a minute. I don't need to see that anymore. So four links in my links. Oh, let's call it link, is it? Print link. Let's go A. And then within that, let's print out the text. Okay, that's not how it works. So let's just print out the link and see what we get. Then we can start breaking that up. Okay, so we're getting everything within it. Okay. So we can print out the text very, very easily by just pulling it out. But the question is, how do we get those links? And that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So what we'll actually do is we'll use find all again. So we'll use uh, my link is soup.findall link.findall I want to look for A. Check that works. Looks okay. So I should be able to print out my link href now to get that. Just print out my link first of all to see what we get there. Ah, so we've got multiple ones. 
Now it looks to me like the first one is the link, so I'm just going to print out my link zero href href and see where we go from there. Oh, well, there we go. Hacker News simplified there. All I need to do now is see if I want to show it or not. So I need a big if. Okay, so first thing we need to do is set link.txt to a variable. Then we need to create a list of words. So we'll create that up here. I'm going to call my things. I'm looking for replit. I'm looking for Python. I'm also interested in Apple and Microsoft. So I'm going to, I'm going to see if any of those words exist within the text. So that means we need to break that text down into individual words. So we need to do this. We need to do text list equals text dot split. That should split all the words up for Let's make a placeholder. Contains word equals false. For word in text list, if word dot lower in things contains word equals true. Now what that's going to do is we'll have a variable to control whether we show it or not. We're going to go through every word in the text list, make it lowercase, see if it's in, if it matches any of those words. And if it does, we'll make it true. And therefore we can do this then. If contains word and all this stuff then can only be printed if it's something I'm interested in. And there we go. I've got one that contains Microsoft. So I'm getting the result there. This is really handy now because I can make that list as long as I want with things that I'm interested in. And instead of having to scan Hacker News myself for things I'm interested in, I can run this a couple of times a day and see if any new stories have appeared in the top 30s. Happy days! I've got to stop saying that. That's not a catchphrase. I don't want my catchphrase to be happy days. I'm not the Fonz. <laughs>